So just before we look at your theme, I just want to go over those two dozen of days we've got today, the cartwheels and the jumping on a sunny and cloudy day. So cartwheels first. Um, my main concern is your counting, that you keep to your beat, okay? The, crop, the um, time signature of four beats in the bar is written at the beginning. And each of those triplets represents one beat each. So that's one, two, and then the minim in that first bar is three and four, okay? So you set your beat, one, two, three, four, and everything you play, whether it's triplets, crotchets, quavers, minims, whatever it is, must relate back to this beat, okay? So this beat relates to the crotchet, which you've got on the previous one, you're skipping one, okay? All right, quavers, there'll be two quavers, sorry, not coordinated, to go with your crotchet, okay? If it was a minim, there'd be two crotchets, to each minim. If it was a semi brief then there would be four and so on. All right. Triplets is three to every beat. So you see the beat here stayed the same all the time and everything else I did with my other hand related back to that beat. So I'm going to play through the cartwheels. One, two, three, four. One, two, end on high C with your little finger in the right hand and then looking at jumping here we've got the added inclusion of rests all right so even if you're doing a crotchet and a rest crotchet and a rest is my crotchet beat again so I play a crotchet then a rest a crotchet then a rest all right so the same thing everything relates back to your beat still we've got four beats in a bar I'm going to count that in one two Three, four. One, two, 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 three, four. So just be careful with your, your counting, trying to, to develop that sense of beat into all your playing. And now just looking at the theme, um, okay, so you're doing very well with this one. So bars one to eight, you're now putting hands together. I'll just play from bar uh, six, all right, you just have to be careful, uh, five rather, you just have to be careful from here. So at the end of the first line, you've got staccato in the left hand, but not in the right hand, join all this up. Then bar seven, two staccato notes, and then bar eight. Okay, and then you want to make sure you go straight on to the next bar and not stop the music there. Okay, so now we're looking at bars nine to 16, hands separately first. I think the right hand is fairly easy, but these notes are not um, staccato. Everything's much smoother and legato. Now I'm on to bar 13. So no staccato anywhere. Those last three bars, follow those um, quavers very carefully. C sharp with the third finger. All right, just follow them carefully round. And the left hand, um, you've got an again another set of chords. The first chord is identical in pattern to the one in bar one, but instead of a D chord with D at the bottom, it's an A chord with A at the bottom. And you've still got a black key in the middle with the C sharp. So here you've got two of those. Then you need to take the little finger to G sharp. Now don't stretch the finger or twist the hand awkwardly. Move the whole hand forward instead. And move the third finger to the B. There's only one of those and then it straight away comes back again. Now on the next line you've got two of the same A chord. And again, just take the hand forward a little bit to reach the G sharp. Okay. Um, yeah, so you might want to start with the hand just a little bit further forward. So the little finger is closer to that black key, so you haven't suddenly got to dart forward to find it. 
Um, we want to make the playing as easy and as smooth as possible. So we see, need to find ways of moving around the keyboard to make that work for us. So then you could split the notes up and everything will be joined up. So if you look at my hand, I'm not moving at all. My fingers are moving sideways, but I'm not having to move backwards or forwards or twist in any way. I'm just, because my hand is in the right place in the keyboard, I'm just moving my fingers just gently from side to side according to what notes I'm needing. So that's what you need to aim for. Um, then after, you know, a good week learning that, you can put that hands together slowly. Everything's joined up here. Now on to the next line, bar 13. Now these bars, take them carefully because they're not easy to fit together. through yeah so those two bars particularly quite often need a little bit of careful attention